30 years ago. It made national news at the time. 30 years. 30 years of this. That's atrocious, you guys. I've done nothing to help fix this problem for 30 years. I'm so sorry. First it was my shooting, then it was Jonesboro, then it was Greenboro and Paducah. More small towns. If you think it can't happen here, you're very mistaken. Then Columbine. That one really tore me up because I live in Colorado. I still did nothing, felt bad, thoughts, prayers. It took 30 years and those amazing kids in Parklands, Florida to wake me up. And now I'm woke. So I had to jump over my dying teacher's body to flee the, ca the classroom to safety. I don't remember much of that day, but I sure remember that part. Witnessing gun violence at age 16 ruined me. Don't let it happen to one more class. Never again! I'm so happy to be here, you guys, I'm sorry. Here's how PTSD as a result of witnessing gun violence has affected me. I'm always angry. I fly off the, ta off the handle very easily. I overthink everything. I've been known to abuse drugs and alcohol to try and keep my thoughts and memories away. I'm hypervigilant. I'm always worried something bad is going to happen. I have the irrational thought that my shooter, isn't that my shooter? That's kind of sick. My shooter is going to find and kill me. The shooting is my dirty little secret and has been for 30 years, and it took me 30 years to be able to talk about it publicly like this. I've never done this before. The worst thing, though, is that my inaction, everyone's inaction, is why this keeps happening. No more! I simply do not understand what's so offensive about wanting to keep our children safe. Children shouldn't buy at school. Teachers, teachers should not die at school. When did guns become more important than our kids' lives? I don't want to take your guns away, not entirely. But I do want a national, rational, I know, rational, no. A rational discussion about gun control, mental health, and bullying. This is now a public safety crisis. It's an issue, huge issue, that should trump everything. Come on, Congress. Come on, legislators. Let's start working on this huge hazard now. We're woke, right? We're woke. for to cause mass destruction as quickly as possible. Why is it even acceptable for American civil civilians to own one? I simply don't understand why owning one, it's a hunk of metal, is more important than our kids' lives. 96 people, day, uh, 96 people a day die of shotgun wounds. Why is this okay? Here's a very short list of countries with stricter gun laws than, than America. Australia, Great Britain, Japan, Norway. I could go on. Why are we so scared to be like them? Yes. I think Australia is pretty great. Great Britain. Love Great Britain. So what's next for, after this for me and my friends? We've come together now, finally, after 30 years. We started a website, www.aftermarch24th.org. Not much there yet, but watch this space. Parkland galvanized us. And we are finally here to make lasting change. I'm here to offer my cautionary tale. Please don't be like me. Please let's fix this. Silence kills. Amen. <laughs> let's start talking about real change. We can do this. We must do this. The time is now, never again. Stay woke.